Hey, so what's going on guys? So I got a different project going on here rather than tech stuff, but this is a 40 gallon electric hot water heater. And I'm basically going to be replacing one of the elements there that I tested and it was bad. So this is what the element looks like. And basically I'm not getting a good reading. If you guys are gonna do this, make sure that you have the power to the breaker box off. I tested everything here. I have no power at all. Everything's been shut off. I went ahead and drained all the water from this tank. Let's go up here. I'll show you what a good reading is. Here is the top element. What you wanna do is take your multimeter and put it on the lowest ohms. And then just touch the uh, prongs on there. You can see you get that reading coming up. Anywhere between 12 and 14, I believe is good. And it really doesn't matter which way you put them on there. This is what it actually looks like when you have a bad one. I have them down there. I'm pressing real hard. I'm getting nothing on the screen. And if I flip them around, again, no difference. I'm just showing you guys that there's no reading at all coming from that one down there. So that's definitely a bad element. So when I test the new one here, I'm going to get a similar reading just like the one up at the top. I'm moving the prongs around a little bit. That's why I'm getting a little bit of a different reading. I'm going to take these screws out so I can get the wire out. It's kind of goofy because I have the main wire water line coming through. Pop these back. This is actually an element removal wrench. This is what I wasn't sure how this was going to work because of being in the area that it's in. Okay, so there it's loose. Oh my goodness, that thing's all screwed up. Look at that. So yeah, that, <laughs> that would be one issue that definitely was, uh, it's definitely gonna be a problem. That thing's in bad, bad, bad shape. Oh my goodness. So that would be the reason I had a blown breaker this morning when I got up. Originally, all this started, I woke up, I went to wash dishes and the water was really hot and I couldn't figure out why. This would explain it. But I went ahead and got a shower anyway without realizing the breaker was actually tripped. But overnight, the breaker must have blown. And this would be why. That is definitely a bad heating element. Just gonna go ahead and install the new one now. Okay, this should just go right on in there. There we go. It has a, a rubber gasket on it. Gonna go ahead and tighten it up now. That one's good and tight. So that's pretty much it. Give you guys one more look at this heating element that was just taken out. Oh yeah. There's the end. It's just, it's shot. Yeah, that would definitely blow a breaker. And that is exactly why my water was overheating and was scalding hot. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps some of you out and see what a bad element looks like and what the readings should be. If there is no reading and you test it with your multimeter, then you'll know what to look for. And that's right there is proof. And that is what happens. I'm sure my water will not get burning hot anymore once I replace a few more things here. I'm going to actually swap out the uh, thermostats just for safety. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one.